Very distinguished people with me for a very important dedication that's uh, about to happen here at the Fisk Theater. And we'll start with Robert McFarlane, and we're coming over to Ronald Fisk and Norm Davis, of course. Now, tell us what you're doing in town. Well, Adam invited me back to the uh, ceremony to uh, celebrate the uh, naming of the theater to the National Registry of Historic Places. Yeah, no. that's correct. Well, this is incredible. I don't imagine uh, that your dad would have ever realized that this was going to continue on and become such an important place like it is. Right? That's true. I'm sure he's proud of what's happened. He would be very proud of what's happened in the last few years. Now, what, you live in Houston, by the way. What type of business are you in? Uh, I work for a seismic processing company. Process seismic data for oil and gas companies. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, Robert McFarland actually took tickets and did work at the first of the uh, Fisk theaters, well, right on downtown. Well, that's, your show. <laughs> that's amazing. So you go back a few years yourself. Now, just so that uh, Robert won't feel left out, I tore tickets here at the Fisk Theater for many years. Right here, right behind you there, we just took tickets. Uh, yeah, do you remember that? Did you get it free or I have to have a ticket? No, I, I, I can walk in. <laughs> okay, right. And it's so funny, Mr. Fisk was always such a great guy. He really was. And one day, I gave up. We used to have a, what's called a security deposit. And uh, you had to give your billfold before they let you go in to see somebody. And one day I had two billfolds, two separate people, and I gave each one of them the wrong billfold when they came back out. And I have never been chewed out before by Mr. Fisher until that event happened. And he says, Norman, he says, that could have cost us $100 or more, whatever they thought they had in their billfold. So he was a great guy, he really was. But he could be pretty stern at times, couldn't he? I remember him as a, as you were a tall, skinny guy, and now you're kind of a tall, uh, you're still skinny guy. What, I mean, the rest of us, we got other problems. I've gained a little bit in the last 10, 20 years. An inch, about an inch. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, you're, of course, I'm sure, familiar with movies and stuff. So, dude, what, what do you like about movies? You still go to movies, or is it a part of your life? I, I go to movies, not not very often. I always go to all kinds of movies. I've probably seen a few years. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you one more thing, and then we'll let him get back to other important things here. Um, David Abernathy and Johnny Malone and myself were in a band, and we called the band The Rolls. And he actually had a card that we had, and he gave it to David. Was it David? Yeah, well, Larry King. Larry King. Larry King. Larry King. And, he, and he had that. I don't know. What, what did you have that for? Well, Larry gave that to me. I don't know. Maybe I asked him. He showed it to me. Probably was proud of it. And, uh, and I knew. I didn't realize I still had that card. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And here's the other thing, too. We were in the band together. But, you know, you had to remind me about that. And, and you played one. And I played one. And, and he says that I was a better trumpeteer than you. Well, actually, yeah, you were a little good. Me, and uh, we had a little... And it was uh, like a yell, you know, we'd play something that cheerleaders would play. And we'd play with, them, uh, with two of them, two trumpets. Two of them, and the three trumpets came in, two of them. And then all four of them would play. And then they'd just go and play with us. <laughs> you know what I always said? I always said that it's great to be playing the trumpet in a football game because you go da 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 and charge. And those stupid football players would go out and charge. <laughs> you know, well, look, congratulations. I'm sure you're uh, proud to be a part of this event tonight. We're glad to have you at Oak Grove. I mean, you know, it's good to be back. And thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. And um, Ronald Fisk and, of course, Robert McFarland, the city council member for a little bit longer, and a former uh, employee at the Fisk. And I'm a former employee. Well, I am too. I ran yeah. the projector for a while. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, back yeah. up to Mr. Bean yeah. once. Okay. Uh, really so you, and yeah. you had those old timey ones. Like the the, the 35 mm film. Yes. And it broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more of Norway's